Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to D Street and Main for this very first Street Spark event. My name is Ian Mackenzie Thurley. I'm the executive director at the Fitton Center. And in partnership with the city of Hamilton, uh, we administer and curate the Street Spark program here in the wonderful city of Hamilton. Uh, we're absolutely delighted to see a wonderful crowd here today. I understand it is now a Pokemon stop, so that explains the numbers and the phones, but it is really wonderful to see lots of people out here uh, in support of the arts and more importantly in support of what's going on here in Hamilton. Uh, we're really delighted to see the, um, the support that we've got through this project and through the arts uh, in the city uh, and the wonderful contributions that the community makes. I have a few thank yous before I hand over to some other people to speak this afternoon, but I'd firstly like to thank uh, the City of Hamilton, our partner in this, uh, and to Mayor Mola and to the City Council. Thank you very much for your uh, support and encouragement through this. To Joshua Smith and his team at City Hall, uh, for these things can't happen. There's lots of moving parts to putting paint on a wall. And with that, for the committees uh, like the uh, Architectural Design Review Board, uh, we really thank uh, them for their involvement and their engagement. As many of you know, this hasn't always been an easy process. It's been a bit of a challenge at times. Uh, and these challenges have been met uh, by sitting around and having a conversation for all these people working hard, all of us uh, to uh, make this a better place for us all to live. And I really appreciate that support. I um, want to say a quick thanks uh, to American Scaffolding, to Show and Williams, and to our friends over here at True West. Uh, this really has been a true community uh, effort. and. Uh, You'll hear more of that in just a second, but I couldn't go by without saying a huge thank you. We've really appreciated it. It's these sort of things that make this a viable project for now and into the future. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Core Fund, Mike Dingledine, who is here again for uh, their support through all of this, uh, and, uh, and also to Artworks uh, in Cincinnati, who have been great resource for us going forward. But there are two people in particular I'd like to thank today. The first of those uh, is Bud Scharf from Community Development. Um, some of you may know Bud uh, if you've had to rebuild a house or if you, uh, have, if you have a restaurant and you have to have it inspected. He gets all the glamorous jobs of this city uh, and all the letters that go with it. Uh, but on times like this, he gets to help celebrate with us. And we're really thankful to him and his department uh, there at Community Development because uh, we couldn't make this happen. Um, we often forget that we have people working up at City Hall who can really get behind a project and believe in the arts in the city. So I'd like to say thank you for me and for our staff at the Fitton Centre to uh, the City of Hamilton to Bud Shaw. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank and to introduce you to Jen Akers-Smith. She's going to introduce her team that's put this together, but she has led this Street Spark program from its inception, and that inception really starts over on 2nd Street with that beautiful mural outside the Parks Conservancy. Uh, a little over a year ago, I started at the Fitton Centre and I stood outside the Parks Conservancy with Steve Timmer smiling from ear to ear with this fantastic mural that he had in front of his building. And I got to tell you, I had this seething rage of jealousy in between me. And I said, I'm running an art center, and why does the Parks Conservancy have a, a big, beautiful piece of art on the front of their building? This can't be fair. Uh, and it's again, that stands testament to what's going on in this city, that the arts are seen as a grassroot. It doesn't have to be in an art center. It doesn't have to be in an art gallery. It should be out on the street, and that is celebrated. And I'm really excited. So Jen and her team had brought that together. Uh, as you've seen here, with Hamilton, with Alexander, I should say, uh, and with our make way for McCloskey. There is some great movement happening here. And Jen and her Street Spark team have done a fantastic job, and uh, I do applaud them. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'd like now to uh, hand over to uh, the mayor of Hamilton, Pat Moller. Thank you, Ian. Doesn't that look just great behind me? It looks absolutely wonderful. I want to also say that I'm joined here by Vice Mayor uh, Fear, Council Members Robert Brown and Kathleen Klink, who uh, joined me in saying congratulations to all the partners and to thank Nicole and her supporting artists for just an absolutely great, great job. Someone told me that Time Magazine had on its front cover recently, um, Alexander Hamilton, our hottest founding father. Now, of course, that's probably due to you know, the play in New York. But I do believe this makes the hottest mural of the hottest founding father in the hottest city. 
in the entire region, not just named Hamilton, but in the entire region. But it's very exciting to know that 33,000 cars a day will pass this Street Spark mural. It adds life to this renaissance of Main Street, adds life to the community here. And again, we all thank the partners who were involved in this, the artists who had the vision and the skill to get this done. And just thank you, thank you very much, because this city truly supports the Street Spark program. Thank you very much. And Jennifer, you're next. Thank you. Hello, I'm Jen Akis-Smith, and I, I've just loved being able to manage this program, seeing all these murals come up and, and just really bring life to the city and some color. It's been wonderful. <laughs> um, we started with our call to artists back in January, and we put that out to the community and we got a great response. We had 54 designs from 29 artists that were submitted. And then we took those designs and we presented them to our design selection committee. And that is made up of 12 arts professionals and they took a look at those designs, they scored the designs and they discussed them. And we think they did a great job. I know I see a few people out here from our selection committee, let's give them a hand. They did a great job. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Roy and Debbie Miller. Uh, they are the owners of this building and um, in charge of Remax on the move. They're right over here. Um, they were so welcoming to our artists. Uh, they actually opened up a portion of their garage so that the artists could have a studio space and work and store the, their materials. So we really appreciate their partnership on this. So thank you. I'd also like to recognize Sherwin Williams, uh, the Hamilton location. They actually donated their time to prime this wall for us. So in preparation for the artist's painting, um, they also helped us out a lot with a, a lot of the selection of the supplies and things. So we really appreciate them being here. If you have a project, check them out. They're a great asset to Hamilton. Um, I, yes, <laughs> thank you. Um, and American Scaffolding it was fantastic. They are such a professional company. Um, the safety of our artists was really important to us. So um, as you can see back here, it's kind of a narrow space and a little bit of an unusual space. Um, and they worked with us to create something that was a little more custom um, so that, that they could work on that safely. So thank you very much, American Scaffolding. Um, and finally, I'd like to thank the community. Um, there were so many people that stopped by this mural site and uh, you know, just cheered the artists on, gave encouragement, and just um, there was, uh, I think, a guy with a dog that came by almost every day to see the progress. And to me, that's what it's all about. Um, this program is here so that we can enhance your experience in Hamilton and your enjoyment of Hamilton. Um, you know, this is something that we would love to continue and celebrate that expression of artists. So uh, we're really just pleased to be here. Um, and with that, I would like to introduce our lead artist and designer of this mural. Uh, her name is Nicole Trimble. She's an instructor at Miami Hamilton and also Baker Hunt Art Center. She has created some murals for artworks in Cincinnati. And obviously she was a rock star on this project um, and we really appreciate her. So she just wants to say a few words. Hi everybody, thanks so much for coming out to uh, celebrate the unveiling of Alexander with us. It really makes me feel like so proud to be a part of this new program when I see all the people that are interested in it and coming to see us. When we were painting every day, people would stop by constantly and the feedback was so awesome. It really, really makes me feel like I'm doing something that makes a difference. Um, and it's also really, really cool to see something that you painted, that you created, you know, getting blown up and becoming a part of the city. Um, when I designed this mural, I really wanted to marry kind of the, the history of Hamilton and kind of a more contemporary, slightly kind of pop art aesthetic with that kind of iconic portrait of Alexander Hamilton. And we wanted to use really, really bright colors to make it pop from far away. So um, I'm really, really happy with how he turned out, but I really could not have done it without my amazing supporting artists, um, Lindsay and Krista. 
This was both their first murals and they did an awesome job. They were such amazing painters. From day one, they worked super hard. We had kind of long days, it was really hot and they never complained ever. They did such a good job and I really could not have pulled this guy off without their help. And I also want to thank uh, Roy and Debbie for giving us this amazing wall to paint on. Um, we got to see Roy every day. He would kind of, you know, keep us on our toes, come out and joke with us. And it was really, really great. Um, just a great experience. And I'm so happy that I got to be a part of the first summer of Street Spark. It was just an amazing way to spend the summer. All right, that's it. And we'd just like to thank you again for being here and showing such support. This is what it's all about. Um, we do have some refreshments over here. Thank you to True West for providing those for us and some cold water that I'm sure you'll need. Um, but thanks again for being here and have a wonderful evening. Hi, I'm State Senator Bill Coley and I'm here with all the good people of Hamilton celebrating the art in Hamilton. And the mural behind us is just an exquisite example of, of what taking a classical design like the portrait of Alexander Hamilton and, and bringing it in and presenting it in a new way. And I'm just really glad to be here and I'm glad this is in Hamilton. And hopefully it'll inspire others sir, for creativity and, and other things that will that enhance their lives as art, only art can. So thanks for having me here today and enjoy Hamilton. Hi, my name is Nicole Trimble. I'm the lead artist and designer of Alexander This Mural. And these are my two supporting artists, uh, Lindsay Schroyer and Krista Cape. Um, I originally designed this mural um, over the winter time. Street Spark was putting out an open call for artists to submit designs um, for their first summer painting murals. Um, with, the with this design, I really wanted to kind of incorporate a little bit of the history of Hamilton. So I took this really iconic portrait of Alexander Ham Hamilton painted by John Trumbull, and I just kind of rendered different versions of it in really bright, poppy, saturated colors, kind of layered them together to get this really um, bright kind of glowing neon rendering of Alexander Hamilton. I wanted to wanted it to kind of marry the history of that portrait with a little bit more of a contemporary art feel. Um, starting the mural process, um, we kind of started it just like you would start any painting. We gessoed the wall so it was plain white and then we drew a giant grid on the wall and actually kind of blew up our image square by square transferring it to the wall. Then we filled in kind of all of the base coat colors and then added the details on top. Um, I had these two awesome supporting artists, uh, Lindsay and Krista, helping me. This is both of their first murals, but they did such an amazing job. They were excellent pa painters, and they really, really took to the mural process. And it was just a really, really fun, rewarding um, project for the summer. I'm so excited to see something I designed on this wall in Hamilton that we can kind of bring the art that's more prominent um, in the downtown dr district a little further down High Street um, and kind of give it to the community. 